So we welcome to another session of the A2 library tutorial series. This tutorial is going to cover or is going to help our students, our dear A2 students, how they can create their tenanting accounts so that they can turn in their way to know their similarity percentage or what we normally call to check their plagiarism. Yeah, so you are going to receive a mail from the library and the mail will come into two forms. Some students will be receiving the setup account and some students will be receiving login. Um, let me do one or two demonstration for you to understand what I'm saying. And I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step approach, how you can set up your account so that you can turn in your work. Okay, all right. So you receive a mail and um, let me go back. So that's what we are seeing, Tenetine no reply, login to your Tenetine account. You click on that. And this one is a setup account mail. So um, some students, as I said earlier on, will not receive a mail showing setup account. You see a mail that shows login. Um, we are going to demonstrate to you another tutorial how you can um, set up your account should in case, because when you click on the login, you don't know the password. So we will take you through how you can uh, retrieve your password or create another password so that you can log into the Tenetine platform. Should in case you receive a setup account, this is how you are going to go by it. This is how you are going to set up your account in this particular tutorial. So we have hi Obed AJ. Um, you are being added by this and that by your instructor, and this is your class. That is the HND MKTE. All right. Now, I'm supposed to click on this one that is setup accounts. So I click on setup accounts. So I click on setup accounts. And it's asking me my email address. So I'm supposed to enter the email address that I received this mail. So I'll enter my email address, then I'll enter the last name. Now the last name is supposed to be, look at this, the last name is supposed to be AJ. Now you are supposed to type the last name as you are seeing it. Capital A-D-J-E-I. So capital A-D-J-E-I will be typed over here. So if you have three names over here, the last one become your last name, please take note. Can you take note of that? If you are saying just Uber, for instance, then it means that you are supposed to use your last name as the word Uber. And please, your last name should be, it's case sensitive. Look at the information that you have in your mail. I'm stressing on this. So I'm going to cover this one. The same thing that I have over here. Your last name that comes immediately before the comma becomes your last name. The one that you are supposed to use in setting up your account. So you come here and you paste it there. That is a J because that is what comes right before the comma. Now I'm supposed to enter my email address over here. I'm going to use the email address that this mail was sent into. All right. So I'm entering my email address. Now, once you, once you enter your email address and you click on next, this is what you see. Now you are supposed to go into your mail. Um, a message will be sent to you. So you come back to this side. So we have 2018 no reply over here. Okay, so you just click on that because it's a mail will be sent to you. That is a link after you've entered your email address and the, and the uh, password. So it will be sent back 
you receive another mail that is for you to create your password. And you are supposed to do that because um, after 24 hours is is going to expire. So I click on that and your account is almost set up. Click below to create your password. So I'll just go ahead and click create password. So now I'm going to create my password. So I have that is confirming the password. Now I go ahead and click create password. All right, so I click on login. Okay, so I'll enter my email address. Then I'll enter the password that I just created. Okay, so I have my email address over here. Automatically what I entered is captured over here. Now you are supposed to select secret question. So you have some questions over here that you, you are supposed to select from so that should in case you forget your password, the system will ask you um, your secret question, once you provide answer to that, your secret question, the system will allow you to create another password. So let's say I'm going to choose um, what was the name of your childhood best friend. I'm going to provide an answer, let's say Kwame. Then I move on to next. Then you click, I agree, continue. All right, so once you are done, um, this is what you see. So you've entered into the MKTE class. That is uh, the one that uh, you've been enrolled in. If you check my mail, the one that, uh, the first one, the very first one I received from 1018, that is set up account. All right, so now um, I have this over here. That is how you can uh, set up your account. And um, let's add a um, submission. So if you really want to submit your work, uh, before you do a submission, take note of this. When you submit for the first time, Tenetine is going to give you a quick response. When you submit for the second time, it does that. When you submit for the third time, Tenny Team will give you a quick response. However, for the fourth time, Tenny Team is going to delay you for some hours. That is 24 hours. So um, we are advising all students that um, you don't submit just chapters, but rather submit the full work. Um, because if you are submitting chapter one separately and chapter two separately, um, it's like when you really want to submit the full work is going to uh, take much of your time. All right. So we go ahead and click our HND MKTE. Now, um, this is what we have. This is our, the time that the class was created is 6 June and the class is going to end. That is the due date. You click submit. The system will capture your name for you. You enter your project work title over here. Do not enter your name or just any other thing like project work, no. Enter your project work title. What do you are studying? Please enter it over here. You click choose from this computer to pick the file. Then you proceed. So there's going to be there's going to be another tutorial that will cover the upload of um, your work onto the Tenetine platform. When the report is being generated, how you can interpret it. There's also going to be another tutorial. I think, yes, tutorial that um, will explain the artificial intelligence aspects of Tenetine. 
and um, other aspects that you need to know when it comes to thirteen. All right, so this is for um, those who receive setup accounts mail from the library with regard to tenanting. Kindly follow this procedure to set up your accounts because you have limited time to do so. Thank you.